early into it then, but not during the... And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Eric Armstead able to drop him for a loss of four. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Here's Ryan. Oh, he almost had it. Would have been a big interception here in OT. Instead, it'll give him another shot on third down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Here's Matt Bosher now. And in double overtime, this needs to be a good one. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 34. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jarek McKinnon there. And that'll bring up second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. They run it with McKinnon. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, he's just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Here's Bradley Pinion now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense. Defense now ready to take over here. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs. And he is going to go down in the end zone. It's a safety, and the game is over. 
Now, partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Jacksonville, good night, everybody.